Sports. John Fanolio live in the KTLA newsroom with more. John? Well, Sharon Micah, Boeing says it's testing new software updates to prevent future crashes, but lawmakers want to know why those safety measures weren't already in place and whether pilots were adequately trained on the 737 MAX 8. Are they too cozy? That's my mm. pointed question right there. Lawmakers on Capitol Hill scrutinizing the relationship between Boeing and the Federal Aviation Administration. <laughs> After two 737 MAX 8 jetliners crashed less than six months apart, killing more than 300 people. It is truly unfortunate that today's hearing is necessary. Uh, the Department of Transportation's uh, Inspector General uh, announcing he'll conduct an audit of the FAA's safety certification of the aircraft, which is often carried out in conjunction with Boeing. Clearly, uh, confidence in FAA as the gold standard for aviation safety has been shaken. The acting FAA administrator defending the agency's relationship with the airline manufacturer. Safety is at the core of the FAA's mission. It is our first priority. We have worked tirelessly to take a more proactive, data-driven approach to oversight that instills a safety above all else culture at the FAA. Another central question, why wasn't the 737 MAX grounded sooner in the U.S.? The FAA might have been the last, it was the last, in fact, safety regulator to decide to ground the, the 737 MAX. The FAA says it was waiting on proof. The causes of both crashes haven't been officially determined, but the focus has been on an automatic safety feature, part of the flight control system, that may have incorrectly forced the nose of each plane to dip. According to reports, Boeing and the FAA made the decision not to thoroughly inform pilots about changes to the MAX 8's flight control system as a cost-saving measure to avoid retraining. Boeing says it's in the process of briefing pilots and other industry experts on a soon-to-be-released software update, which is said to resolve issues associated with faulty technology on the 737 MAX 8. Southwest and American Airlines are the largest U.S. carriers of the 737 MAX 8. Boeing plans to submit their final compliance documents for that software fix to the FAA by the end of the week. As for that audit, well, the safety certification practice is expected to take at least 10 months. I'll send it back to you. Okay, John, thank you. LA County's